Another year, another football season, Artesia starts the new campaign as the defending state champs. We're not the biggest team, but we're flying around, we hit people, we get stuff done. For the second straight year, the squad is full of upperclassmen. 38 seniors chose to come back out for the team this year. It's really just a team full of chemistry. Like We've played with each other for a while now. We've known each other coming up, so... It's, we all know how to play with you well with each other. It's a close-knit group of guys, and, and uh, they're excited about the season, and so we're, we're excited to see what they can do. One of the new starters in this group is quarterback Trent Taylor. He spent the past two years as a backup. He's done a good job. He's learned a lot and uh, has developed really behind, uh, behind uh, Taylor Knoll, and uh, I'm real excited to see him have his opportunity and see what he can do. Last December, the Bulldogs won the school's 30th state football championship, but this year's team is different. I, I think last year that group had a little bit of a chip on their shoulder and uh, from losing in the, the title game the year before, and so I think, you know, they kind of played with that. Uh, but I think, uh, you know, it, it kind of gets competitive within the classes in, Ar in Artesia to see, you know, they, I mean, they want to prove that they can do what the last year's group did or didn't or whatever. And so I, I think they, they tend to play with a little more edge than people probably realize they do. We, we put that whole state championship thing behind us. We aren't even, we don't even think about that anymore. We're focused on this year. This year starts at home against Eddy County rival Carlsbad. Reporting for the New Mexico Activities Association, I'm J.P. Murrieta. Are you living the life of an athlete? The New Mexico Activities Association brings you Life of an Athlete, a resource for students, educators, and parents to understand the challenges students face. Athletes, did you know one night of drinking will negatively affect your athletic performance for two weeks? Or that athletes who drink and do drugs are twice as likely to get injured? Alcohol's effects can reduce a high school athlete's potential by as much as 20 to 30 percent. Are you living the life of an athlete? Log on to lifeofanathlete.com to find out today.